So last fall, I got this Victor milling machine. It came with this air-powered collet closer because this milling machine is really tall. It's got the riser block and it's a big machine anyways. So I'm a little over six feet tall and I can you know barely reach up to the top of it. So it's really tall. Um, it is workable, but really if you have an air thing, you want to be able to use it. But it came with this drawbar with just a standard hex and it doesn't work. Inside here, there's almost like a, it's almost a Torx, it's a six-sided sort of star shape. And so I need to make something that fits into that star shape. So I've got another short um, drawbar and I'm gonna weld on a piece with this correct star piece, star shape. I'll try to get a shot of inside here so you can see what the star is. Um, but it's kind of hard to see. But anyways, it's not a normal hex. I need to make an adapter piece and weld the two together. So adapter piece time. So that's the shape in there. So I've got rough measurements for what that shape needs to be. And it's fine if it's a little bit sloppy because this needs to drop right over it without much resistance. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making up the blank. I forgot to hit record while I was cutting these, but basically I just used my 60 degree dovetail cutter and went in and cut each side. I cut the back side first, just down a little way because I knew how thick these needed to be based on the height dropping down. So I knew what the bottom needed to be, um, but I didn't know how far to go in and it's gonna be lots of math to calculate that. So the quick and dirty way was I cut this back side, just did a slot in it, and then that showed up here as this face. And so I was able to move in just until I just barely touched and make a pass and it got it close enough. And then I went around all six times and got it cut. And then I welded it on to my other drawbar. So this is what the final shape is. I put these little extra chamfers on with just a die grinder and a cutoff wheel. So I got those on there. It's a little bit quick and dirty, you know, got some lumps on it. It's not particularly all these cuts are all the same depth, but <laughs> I am trying not to let the perfect, I'm trying not to let perfect be the enemy of done. And I've got a ton of other projects and really I just want this thing done and functional so I can use my air collet closer.